Hello everyone and welcome to this brief video on how to use Wii Video to create a great digital story for history, right? Uh, so here we are in the Wii Video, so this is just WeVideo.com. And it's great if you don't have an account already, it's super easy to make one. Uh, obviously for most of us, just logging with Google, their Google credentials will be the easiest way to go through this because you'll always have it, you know, ready to go. All right. And there we are. Now we are in Wii Video. Now, um, I've been playing around with just some practice videos here, and I'm actually going to just delete these uh, really quickly because I don't really want to have them kind of uh, taking up some of our space. It's just sort of some ones I'm showing in class. Now, uh, when you're in Wii Video, there's some things just to notice here. First off the bat, for the free account, you have about seven and a half minutes. Just keep that in mind. Uh, that can become kind of restrictive depending on how long your story is going to be, how long your video is going to be. Uh, at the, that point, if it goes beyond seven and a half minutes, you can still view it, but you won't be able to share or publish your video without paying a fee. And I don't really know what the fee is at this moment. It changes, but maybe around $10 or so, depending on how long your video goes. Uh, so just be careful with that. And there is your storage capability, and they sort of uh, reset the export times each I think, couple of months or so. Um, so if you want to upgrade, that there's some... Uh, things you can look at. So let's create a brand new video. And this is really nice because it gives you a nice standard uh, video editor in a browser. And this is the usual sort of setup you'll see no matter if you're using iMovie or Windows Movie Maker. Basic timeline. Now I've already gone in. This is my media. This was blank. And what I've done is I've uploaded all my media that I want to use for this video that I just might make. Now here's a folder. We're doing some stuff on the Battle of Trenton. So I got some uh, clips from newspaper articles from the Battle of Trenton. I have some uh, paintings here. I have some maps. Uh, I uploaded some uh, brief audio clips from YouTube, uh, some background music, also some sound effects, and even a clip, some brief second sequence clips of a video that I also found from YouTube. I just took the video of it to give us some nice live video feed. Uh, so just, just to show you some of the things that you, you can do with this. All right, now, if I go into my Google Doc, if I, excuse me, if I go into my Google Drive, all of the uh, sources that I have there are right here. So I first, I stored them all in my Google Drive, all my pics, all my documents, and all my sound clips, and then I uploaded them from my Google Drive right to Wii Video. So now it's all on this, like, sort of, like, uh, work table, they, they started to call it. You could toggle, you go, like, you know, a list, Okay, you can kind of go back and forth like the different ways and like modify how you want to view all this stuff. Okay, so I'll go back to the little small icons. All right. Now, there are some other things here that you can use. They have their own graphics and their own backgrounds. These are a lot of these are, are animated. Uh, so we can just play them and you can get some kind of like neat effects with all this stuff. So you can kind of go in there and look at all they have that's preloaded. Uh, they have solids. Uh, if you're doing any green screening, uh, if you know anything about green screen stuff, you could actually use this as a green screen. Uh, overlays that would go over your video and have some frames, some fun stuff. All right. And this is also a music. They have their own music here that you can go into and, you know, using your movies. Uh, so that's their little sequence of music. If you don't want to, you know, have the ones from the free YouTube ones that I showed everyone. All right. And these are some transitions that we'll go talk about soon. And you can also add text. Okay. Uh, and those are the other aspects there. So there's back to my media, okay? They also have up here in these like little ones, they have themes. Now you could use themes, uh, and these themes are have preset music and sort of transitions like vintage, other things you can play around with. So they're kind of nice. If you want to use a, uh, you know, different theme, you can use those as well. Okay, all right, let's get, let's get out of that. So, say we want to start building this. So, I'm going to take an image. This is why it's important to have a great storyboard of all your images in a row, what you want to do with them. You have an idea on a storyboard of all your music, because then you can just go in and just start dragging stuff around. And I would like maybe drag this down here. Here's this great like, image of Washington's Crossing. And now, once you're in an image, you can make it longer. So, it says right now only five seconds, but now I can make it go for even nine or ten seconds, right? Because uh, it shows you right there and also right here how long the video are. So maybe that was the first image I would use, all right? And then maybe I might talk about some historical maps. So maybe I'll bring another map over over here, all right? And that would be kind of neat. Okay, I can do that. And that's how you do You just start dragging stuff around. And then I want to you know, show a primary source of a newspaper article about the Battle of Trenton. Uh, this is a letter from the time period. So maybe I might want to go into this a little bit. 
Okay, so I'm going to put this in my timeline. You would drag this around, all right? Now, there's a lot of debate about what you want to do first. Some students think it's great to record their audio first. And you can do this directly right in WeVideo. They have this like audio track right here. And you press this little record button and you record your audio. You can open a video or a screen recorder. So if you want to record your own face if you have a uh, webcam or if you just want to record your voice, you can do it right through here. We'll just click on it and it gives you the options of which one you want to actually use. All right. Um, so that's one way. Other people record their voice narration on a different app, even on their phone, just save it as an MP3 or a WAV file, then you would drag it in. And once you had your audio recording here, uh, then you might now try to match the, the photos with the audio recording. Some students do it the reverse. They put all their images first, and then they try to match the audio with the visuals. I really think it's better to record a solid narration, because then you know how long each visual has to remain on the screen, so it corresponds to the narr it corresponds to the video in the right way. Okay, so we keep on building all this stuff. Now, maybe you want to like want to play around here a little bit. So, if I drag this back, if I just press play, it's going to look kind of like a basic PowerPoint slideshow. So, you wa we're watching this, we're watching that. Okay, now it goes to the next you know image, and you could be talking about the map and the plans of the crossing on the Battle of Trenton. And then you might have an example here of a primary source, which is all fine. But we could add some things to make this a little more exciting. Okay, so let me pause this for a moment. First, maybe we want to change the, change the transitions between the actual images. So I go to transitions, and now it will just dissolve and blend in a different way. Okay, you have all these different options here. So I like just sort of a crossfade or a dissolve. Okay, so let's just pick crossfade. And it will give you an example of what that means. So see how that that's what it's going to actually do. If I could just drag this between my images. OK. So I'm going to drag that over. So now when I play, there's more of a transition between them. It's a, sm it's a simple thing, subtle, but I think it makes a really big difference, right? OK, great. Now. Um, some other things we might want to do. We want to talk about this in class about panning in and zooming out to give an image more of a uh, sort of a uh, life, right? So I click on it. See how it's highlighted in orange right now? And there's this little drop up here. Make sure it's a little bit bigger so you guys can actually see this, right? Um, I could. There's this little like pencil, and you can open the clip editor. I could. I could edit the clip. If I go to that, I could. I could rotate it. <laughs> I could do some weird things with it. I could flip it around. I could fit it to the screen. I can scale it up and down. All right, like that. Okay. And this might be really cool. You just want to just like this part of it. You don't want the whole thing. You just want to up focus on this man or Washington. Certainly, you can have some fun with that. Okay. Um, let me just. I'm gonna end with that. But then you can also do things like animation. Okay. Now here's the thing that's really kind of neat. If I go to start. And if I make the scale really big, and then I can actually move this around a little bit, and we'll kind of maybe start it right with Washington's face, real close up. And depending how good the resolution of the photo is, this might not look as good. And then we're going to end, if I click the end part, oh, I started in the wrong spot. I'm sorry. Let me start with this. Make sure you've got start click, not, not end. And then I'm going to end with it a nice, the whole image, right? Kind of a kind of uh, a little bigger okay cool and then we can do some other things like brightness and stuff like that and I'm done editing now so those are all the options there okay the, the effects you can go through all this stuff right all the effects you can add effects to it you can add like different like color effects to your image uh, you can also add some other aspects um, fade in and out you know a little more that's fine. So now watch this. We'll bring it back to the beginning, and I'm going to play. And this is how it's going to look in our video now. So now we gave it motion, right? And then it will transform into like, into like the next one. See? That just looks great. So there's some things we, we can do with each individual image. Now maybe I want to add some music. I got this like angels weeping in the background. Okay. Oops, I didn't. Oh, I, here's, I always make this mistake. You have to add audio to an audio track. So let me go back down here. Okay. So now if we play, it's going to sound like this. So it's got this like angelic sort of sound to it. Okay. We'll stop there. All right. Now 
maybe you want to add some sound effects. So I need to, if I want to add an audio, I have to go over here and click plus. And I want to add a new audio track. You can name if you want to. So now if I go here, I have another audio track. So maybe I'll do like water splashing. <laughs> okay, right? And you can adjust the, the volume of this, right? Open, you can kind of adjust the volume right here. If you want it to be a little quieter. Uh, maybe you don't want it as loud as the other ones, or you, you know, you can kind of play around with it. And now when we play, we go back to the timeline here, uh, we got this going on. So we got the water going, we got the sound effects, and the basic idea is to keep on building. And certainly your narration would be here someplace where you'd add another audio track. Okay, and we're going to add an audio track, and you would record your narration here. Okay, and then we can keep on building. I can add more pictures here, I can add some videos here. If you add them over each other, they will appear pop at the exact same time. So an example is Saber over here. We got this one. Um, we could actually then also add two at the same time, but you could play around with this, right? So this is kind of the way you would build it, just slowly but surely building, building, building your story, okay? So now when you're done, you're ready to be like, publish this, you go to finish. And what's going to do is my video one. You're going to that's that's fine for now. I'll set it, and you can give the you know you want that quality. You give it a, a name, and then you can send it someplace. YouTube, which is fine, it's great. Um, Google Drive, you just got to set up your Google Drive box, and then you're going to share a link from either Google Drive or YouTube with us so we can watch it all together. All right, great. So that's how this actually works. Hope this made sense. If you have any questions, please let me know. Have a good day. Bye bye.